that all of us are gathered here today to celebrate the love and the commitment of Gina and Joseph. I'll be the one by your side Through the good and the hard times When we're laughing When we're hurting I'll be the one that you need Through the love and tragedy Gina, I promise to love you for all of your days, showing you how in so many ways. Together we'll be, for all of time, a family that's ours, I'm yours, and you're mine. I thank God for the day you came into my life, and blessed I now am to call you my wife. I met Joe for the first time when we were freshmen in high school. And fast forward a couple of years, we became friends. And we were a couple of degenerates. We, uh, there was this bathroom next to the principal's office called Office Bathroom, OB. But we called it Smoker's B because we used to smoke cigarettes in there. And I was in there one day smoking a cigarette. And I didn't know Joe, and he came in, and he's like, he didn't really know me too well, but he's like, hey, man, you need to treat your girl better. And I was like, oh. I go, oh, okay. I go, I'll burn your eye out. And uh, can you imagine telling Joe, I'll burn your eye out? I can only imagine. He probably was like, you know what, I'm going to get this kid in the camel clutch. And fast forward a couple of years, we became friends. We're playing video games in my room, and he actually got me in the camel clutch. Thank you all for coming to celebrate the new Mr. and Mrs. Landolfi. These are two equally phenomenal people who I love both very much, and I'm so happy for you both. Joey, as you know, I always respond with, I love you more. But that doesn't mean that I love you more than you love me. It means that I love you more as each day passes, and my love for you will forever grow. I still get butterflies when I think about our first date, our first kiss, and the first time you said you loved me. I still get that fuzzy feeling when you walk through the door after a long day at work. And I admire and cherish the way you show your unconditional love to Gabriella. I will forever be grateful and proud of the man that we are incredibly lucky to have. I love you, Joey, with all my heart.
occasion of great joy for all of us who have gathered here to be witnesses to this wedding celebration. Gina and Joseph have found much to share together in life. It is our hope and prayer that together with Gabriella, their future will be enriched because of the love and respect that they have for each other. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. We will. I, Joseph, take you, Gina, to be my wife. I, Joseph, take you, Gina, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Gina, take you, Joseph, to be my husband. I, Gina, take you, Joseph, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. Gina, receive this ring. Gina, receive this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a constant reminder. That I have chosen you above all others. To be the one to share my life. To be the one to share my life. Gina and Joseph, you have declared your intentions and vows before God in this gathering of your family and friends. And now by the power vested in me by the state of Massachusetts, I witness and affirm your love and now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now seal this covenant with a kiss. And it gives me great pleasure to present to all of you gathered here, our newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Landolfi. Jump, however you Wait, want. are we doing it on three? One? <laughs> so I'm gonna go like this, ready? Get low. One, two, three, jump. I'll be the heart that's yours Through the peace and all You're jumping on three. Right, one, two, three, jump. Okay. It always happens. Alright, let's do it. Alright, ready guys? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> we didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> we're so in love. We're so in love. So in love. We're so in love. When it's been a long it's okay, hey, cause I know As soon as I turn the corner, see your face We've come a long way Have a beautiful baby They say home's where you make it They found that place Cause tonight we're slow Gina and Joe get the first dancing Romancing Both dreaming of 
I think it was it was snowy, icy. I'm in a parking lot waiting for Joe to pick me up. And apparently a game of chicken ensued. Joe just in his car, Dodge, what was that? Dodge what? Dodge Intrepid, that's right. And he just goes right at me, going probably 25, 30 miles an hour. I'm like, he, I'm like, he's not gonna hit me. I stood there and he actually hit me. <laughs> With his car. The side mirror, thank God I was drunk because I didn't feel a thing, but, you know, great friends, great friends, you know. That's what friends do for each other, you know, in all seriousness. We talk about hitting the lottery, right? We're always playing the tickets, but uh, just look to your left, buddy. You already hit it, man. You can't hit the lottery twice in your life, buddy. You already did it. Years ago for Christmas, my sister, my parents bought my sister and I plane tickets to Florida to visit our grandparents, to spend a few days in Miami for a girl's trip while we were there. It was also the exact time Gina and Joe started dating. While we, they had known each other for years and were great friends, I noticed something different about my sister when she would talk to him about, talk about him on this trip. She was falling in love <laughs> and we both knew it. Me, not knowing Joe all too well, I would caution her and remind her not to wear her heart on her sleeve and to be careful. But that's the best thing about little sisters though. They spend so much time wishing they were the older sister that in the end they're far wiser than the older one could ever be. And when we got back from our trip and I finally saw them together, their chemistry and affinity towards each other was undeniable. Over the years I've watched them grow face numerous challenges together and witness life's landmarks unfold. From buying their first home to watching their absolutely stunning daughter come into this world, observing them grow from a couple to a beautiful family. I'm definitely anticipating the new journeys and magic you two will continue to create for years to come. These are two equally phenomenal people who I love both very much and I'm so happy for you both. Please join me in raising your glasses, toast to the bride and groom, and may all your ups and downs come only in the bedroom.
the grace of this day carry you forward all the days of your lives. May your life, along with Gabriella, be peaceful, healthy, and filled with blessings and joy.